In this video, you'll see the 12 of us hike around the Mont Blanc Massif and the difficulties we faced. I'll show you the refuges and their intricacies. More importantly, you'll see the majestic beauty of Mont Blanc, her massif, and the breathtaking scenery that is truly difficult to capture. But first, my great friend Chris and I met with our guide Dennis and the 10 other travelers. <laughs> I hope you're okay with this, Dennis. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah? Okay, thank you. You don't have... I mean, and you have enough snow, I think... We left Chamonix and took a bus and a gondola to Les Souches, where we began our hike. Okay, bonne journée à tous. So it begins, dude. So it begins, Duder. So it begins. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Now Chris and I had been planning this for a couple of years, so it was nice to see it actually happen. The beginning of our trek was deceiving as we started on a nice descent. So not sweating that much, actually. Uh, yeah, it's about, it's about only 50 degrees out and a nice cool start. I know, I know. Okay, when we arrive, I will see whoever is in the toilet. We are now starting a descent from our first call. Call is a French word for collar or the saddle between two mountains. Please subscribe for more of my videos on hiking, fitness, and other ways to stretch yourself. Hit the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for your support. So the funny thing I just realized is that we are doing the Tour du Mont Blanc counterclockwise. Hey buddy. Doesn't mean anything, but we just are. So we'll go through Italy first and then Switzerland and then back to France. Okay, we just did a 600 meter descent and now we are going to the refuge to have a coffee and to use the toilets. And then we have a 450 meter ascent up to the top of that call. Merci. Oh, yeah. Oh, here's the fountains, okay. Just made a 450 meter ascent out of that refuge and looks like we are going to have a picnic in this meadow, which they call an alpage. Earlier you saw our first water fountain. There's plenty of water sources along the TMB. I'm a heavy water drinker and the only thing I needed was to refill my one water bottle. Speaking of hydration, I trained hard for this event for four months and drank very little alcohol. Ironically, it was during the TMB that I ate and drank like I was a college frat boy again. This is a 2,500 year old road and bridge built by the Romans. Bonjour. Ooh, beautiful. Ended our day at the Nantes Barant refuge, and the hosts were most gracious. We're going to hit the sun here pretty quick, and it looks like a gorgeous. 
day today. After day one, some of us are sore, some of us didn't sleep well, and one person has a hurting knee. Other than that, most of us are in high spirits. This morning is very brisk, no wind but cold. I'm using every single layer that I have in my backpack. I'm realizing the importance of having many lightweight layers for this trek. We're all starting to get to know each other and be comfortable in this shared experience. After all, we're sleeping in the same rooms in the refuges. The landscape changes immediately. Definitely feeling that elevation now as we make our way up to the next call. Whew. to the top of the next call. Whew. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> so it was unseasonably cold here a week ago. So there's a, so that's why we're seeing snow here. Typically you would not see snow here. So, but it, it dumped. It dumped here last week and then so this is what we're seeing. It's a lot of negotiating to do here with the snow. Like two or three groups at the same time. We had lunch at the refuge. It was really dirty and cold, but the food was good and nice to relax. A human. <laughs> yeah. Like it's a horse? On her knees. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Day two has been all about ascent in the morning, then lunch at the refuge, and then all descent in the afternoon. I still don't know which I prefer. During the descent, my toes crowd to the front of my boots and I seem more prone to getting blisters. And uh, Chris had a great point, like we haven't even seen uh, Mont Blanc yet. It's interesting. And yet we're climbing around it. We made our way down the mountain, then took a bus to a very nice hotel to stay for the night in the town of Bourges Saint Maurice in France. It's like a hotel. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, did, did you hear the refuge didn't work out? Like they, yeah, it didn't work out tonight. So, so they found this alternative. So, the socks and underwear can get ripe pretty quick. Day three begins. We actually just visited a cheese farm. It's about 50 degrees and we're at like 6,000 feet elevation. Not feeling the elevation at all. We acclimated really fast and now, okay. And now that we're going uphill, I'm, I'm running out of breath, okay. Most of us are feeling pretty good. We're becoming more quiet and settled in. No one is injured. Some of us are fast hikers and others are slow. It was here that we started hearing marmots.
It is here at the call that we crossed from France to Italy. We arrived to the top of these calls hot and in a sweat from the ascent. As you can imagine, there is a lot of wind going through these calls. We found ourselves immediately adding layers of clothing at the top and then shredding them again as we make our way down the mountain. <laughs> There's the summit of Mont Blanc. It is here that I had the most profound moment of this entire incredible experience. We hiked up a very steep ascent to Refugio Elisabetta for lunch. The food and alcohol was flowing, but the real payoff were the two gigantic glaciers above the refuge and the massive waterfalls below them. I was overwhelmed by the unique sight and sound of them and I became quite emotional. My eyes and ears weren't used to seeing such massive beauty at this large scale and it's a moment I'll never forget. Day three of the Tour du Mont Blanc was a tough one. We ascended and descended to two different calls and were exhausted as we hiked into the little town of Cormier, Italy. I had to check out this cute town for myself. Now day four was a rest day for us, so we checked out the town, the beautiful views, enjoyed the good food. We even made time to hit by far the nicest spa I had ever been to. Cormier was founded in the 13th century and has a population of 3,000. It is surrounded by the Mont Blanc Massif and is considered to be one of the world's premier ski towns. Four days of hiking left, so a rest day in this incredible town was exactly what we needed. My first blister. Really nice starting the day on fresh legs. Even though we didn't hike yesterday, we still made 13,000 steps wandering around town, but I think that was good to stay limber. Today we start off with a major 3,000 foot ascent, making our way to two different calls, and we'll finish at Refugio Bonatti on a really steep ascent right now. Bottlenecked with a bunch of other hikers. Just a ton of switchbacks. It's unrelenting. Let's call my air all the way down there. A big damn sweaty mess yeah. <laughs> after that. Uh, <laughs> that was something. The other side of Mont Blanc. Yeah, from two days ago. I trained hard for this and I'm feeling great, but I have a pretty good blister started. The funny thing is the biggest injury is my tailbone. Yesterday in a bus, I sat down really hard because I was so tired and slammed my tailbone on a seatbelt. These unforeseen events you can't prepare for. I'm looking at about 10 to 12 different waterfalls right there underneath uh, these glaciers. Incredible. 
that's the crazy thing is there's Mont Blanc right behind us and we have gone halfway around that goddamn mountain. In my opinion, Refugio Bonatti has the most picturesque view of the TMB. Not only could we see the entire Mont Blanc massif, we could hear waterfalls run off the many glaciers. We arrived to the refuge at about 3 o'clock, found our rooms, unpacked, and had time to drink and rest before dinner. Four minutes. Four minutes, one token. This is stressful. This is what we got. Okay. Go for it. <laughs> and begin. Oh, freezing. Oh, okay. oh. oh. Dennis, that was not four minutes. Here's our room for the night. And not a bad view. Definitely want a slip sheet because there's bed bugs, possibly bed bugs, at these refuges. So, slip sheet is good. Sleep inside this guy, you're good to go. Got very lucky tonight. We actually have power in our own room. <laughs> Day six, and we have a real hard one ahead of us. My blister is in the same condition, we're all pretty tired. Refugio Bonatti was packed with at least 80 people. It was just too congested. The trails during this portion of the TMB are overcrowded as well. Mont Blanc is just about to disappear from our sights. This was my one complaint. Our tour guide Dennis tried to separate us from the other groups as much as possible. We met some nice hikers along the way. I'm Erwin Mansdorf, Yitzhak Mansdorf from uh, Ranana in Jerusalem, Israel. And we met this wonderful group over here. Yes, yes. Who's, who's been tailing me <laughs> all these days. We stopped at this refuge to catch our breath, get a snack and a drink, and to use the toilets. We're ascending back into snow. Oh, there's the call. Thank God. Wow, that was a major ascent. Whoa. And go. Welcome to Switzerland. Nice. Welcome to Switzerland, yes. The sun is definitely beating down on us. We're liberally applying sunscreen and drinking a lot of water. One person in our group got a really bad sunburn on their legs, so they wore leggings to avoid the sun and applied burn cream to the burns.
Now, while the last half of our day was mostly flat or downhill, we were being exposed to full sun the entire day. One of the hikers in our group got heat exhaustion today and nearly had to quit the tour. They completely lost their appetite and slept for 15 hours that night. Fortunately, they felt better the next morning and ended up finishing the tour. I will tell you to make a little stop here, but we're actually 20 minutes away from the ref. La Folie. La Folie. La Folie. From the outside, this looks like a quaint auberge in a hamlet, but we had no idea what we were getting into. Almost forgot my poles. Last night was our most challenging one. There was a hornet's nest just outside a bedroom window and the room was too hot. We couldn't cool down Hornets were buzzing around in our room, and the host wasn't willing to do anything about it. Today, we are hiking on no sleep. I had an upset stomach last night and spent time on the toilet. I now have two blisters and my feet are throbbing. Uh, mole skin and medication on them and um so we're starting our day out of um, on a huge ascent right now, but it's in the shade, so that's good. Huh. Look at that. Percent. Wow. We have gained some serious elevation. Exits Switzerland through Geneva and goes into France and becomes one of the big main. Ah, oh, I can hear the things that make ice cream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, and then we walked up somewhere until here, which was the refuge of the first night. Uh, it was built in the 1700s and then it was painted off normal colors, okay? The town of Trion. 
cutest. Love that church. Beautiful, beautiful clear morning and we are leaving the auberge and going up to a call, a 900 meter climb. Look at this beautiful pink church. Today is our final day. The auberge was quiet and we slept really well. Actually, I'm not sure anything could have kept us up. We were so exhausted. The weather and temperature has been perfect, but the sun beating down most of the day has taken a toll on us. Last night, two other hikers in the group and I met with Dennis and planned a different route for today. You see, we realized our tour doesn't go on the infamous ladders, so he helped us plan a route that will take us there. Here's the call. There's the call with the refuge right there. Look at that. Oh, All right. Okay, see you later. See you guys. Uh -huh. uh, by the see you soon, buddy. Yep. Yep. All right. See you guys. <clears throat> okay, so here's the deal. Daniela and Jason and I have split off the group and Daniela is now our our tour guide and we are attempting to go to the ladders. We're going to find the ladders. That is what we're doing right now. On our way to Tre Les Champs. Okay, here we go. Mont Blanc. So now we are starting to second guess ourselves because we, we have done a major descent. I don't know how many meters we've gone down, but had to have been at least 900. And now we hear traffic, so... Now we are ascending like we're supposed to, but we're on, definitely on a tight timeline here at this point. Well, we're starting to see mountain climbers. This is a lot further than we thought. Those climbers. Wow. The ladders. We made it. Okay, this is not for the faint of heart, that's for sure. Gosh, it's... See, our goal was to climb the ladders and hike up to the picturesque Lac Blanc, but the ladders were much further than we thought, and we were running out of time. God, what is the elevation here? We were very hot, sweaty, and tired. Okay, ground, good. This hill just doesn't stop. But it was so worth it. Oh man, that was awesome, guys. Yeah. Guys, right here, man. Yeah. Right here. Right here. We did the f ladders. Woo! Yeah. Bad news, we keep climbing. Good news, it's getting cooler. There's the bus station that we need to get to. Hour and five minutes. It's 3.42. Okay, we are hightailing it now. Oh, I think about 45 minutes left, I think. The station closes at five, and if we miss the last tram, we have to hike all the way down to Chamonix, catch a bus to the hotel, and miss dinner with the group. 4.02, and we are booking, and we are smoked. 4.11, getting closer. Okay, 421. There it is. He's exactly 430. Here we got here it is. Whoa. 440. We made it. Oh my god. Whew. He may have had an accident and maybe sweat. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. That is the refuge that we were at five hours ago. Crazy far away. 15 minutes to spare. God, that was close. 
It is here that I got lightheaded and nearly passed out. We truly stretched ourselves to our physical limits. Couldn't have cut it much closer. Oh yeah, that was so close. Here we go. Guys, there's the hotel right there. We did it. Yes, there it is. Oh my God, they're toast. Well, that stayed on there. Oh God, that blister. Cheers, everybody! Cheers! Doing the TMB! Cheers! And you can feel very proud of what you've done. So, a big applause for all of you. Woo! Here's you, Dennis. Dennis! Dennis! A fantastic leader! I hope you found this video to be somewhat useful. At the very least, I hope the visual beauty and unique landscape inspires you to want to hike the TMB. This has been one of the best experiences of my lifetime and I couldn't be more grateful to have experienced this. The 13 of us stretched ourselves and met this challenge. It was great experiencing the TMB with my great friend Chris and quickly getting to know 11 strangers with a common goal. In fact, four of us have so much in common that we've already signed up to do this in the summer of 2024. Stay tuned and please subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.